God in the Old Testament mean? Hey, higher things, YouTube theologians, Pastor Wolf Mueller here, talking about the Old Testament and hard Old Testament questions. Here's one about why God seems to be mean in the Old Testament, or why God is so political in the Old Testament, or why there's so many wars in the Old Testament. And I think the key to understanding this is to go back to the promise that God gave to Abraham. Remember, the Lord chose Abraham and said to Abraham, in your seed, all the nations of the world will be blessed. That means Abraham and his offspring were to be a blessing to the whole world. But that promise that God gives to Abraham is a threefold promise. He promises to give him land. He promises to give him a people so his family would be an entire nation. And he promises that through Abraham would come the Messiah, that seed that was promised in the Garden of Eden back in Genesis 3.15. In fact, remember, Genesis 3.15 is, is the key text, that riddle to understand the entire Old Testament, that the Lord says to the devil, the seed of the woman will crush your head and you'll crush his heel. That seed is Jesus. And now that seed is promised to Abraham and then to Isaac, Jacob, Judah, David, that's that messianic line, the golden thread that runs all the way through the Old Testament. So Abraham is given this threefold promise, the land and the people, all for the sake of the seed, the Messiah. So that we see in the Old Testament, the Lord protecting that people. And that protection is going to look an awful lot like war. And the Lord protecting that land which also looks an awful lot like war a lot of times. But all of it is for the sake of the seed. Here's a picture. I think Irenaeus uses this picture, the old church father, I think. You gotta imagine a field of wheat and there are a bag of wheat and the wheat, the farmer comes in and takes a handful of the wheat and the wheat says, what's this farmer? He says, Boy, he must really love me because he looks at me, he smiles, he plants me in the dirt, he covers me, he checks on me. As I grow, he pulls the weeds out. He worries when it's raining. He must really, really love me. And the more I grow and the taller I get, the more it looks like this farmer loves me until one day he comes out with a sickle. And I said, no, wait a minute. I thought you loved me. Point is that I'm there. The land is there. The wheat is there for the sake of the seed, the grain, that one seed, Jesus. But in that one seed is the life of the world. So that the wars that the Lord wages in the Old Testament is for the sake of saving those people through the Messiah who is to come. Now we could ask, well, why didn't God decide to do it another way? And we, we don't know, but we must in this way always trust that the Lord's determination to do it, his way is the best way, the most beautiful. What's true is, is also right. Uh, so we rejoice that the Lord protected the people in the land for the sake of Christ and that Christ was for the sake of us. Hope that helps. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.